Hello, everyone. On behalf of Meta Global Foundation, I, Sonali Ramteke, am very pleased to welcome you to this session with the theme, Fulfill Your Dreams of Higher Education, with guidance to European and Taiwanese educational programs and scholarships. Before we start with the session, I would like to give you a brief introduction of Meta Global Foundation Mumbai. The vision of the foundation is to nurture leaders of tomorrow with a mission to support educational opportunities for aspiring students by way of mentorship and collaborative financial assistance. The foundation is led by a very able and knowledgeable Mr. Alok Shende, Chairman of Meta Global Foundation and graduate from IIM Calcutta and is supported by an equally able and socially involved Dr. Vijay Kadam. In today's session, as speakers, we have respected Dr. Harshadeep Kamle Sir, IS Officer, Principal Secretary Industries, Government of Maharashtra, followed by Professor M.D. Shirsat, who is a senior professor at Aurangabad University. He'll be our mentor for higher education abroad and is equally supported by Dr. Vijay Kiran, researcher, after which we will then open up the question answer session. We now begin our session and are very pleased to welcome our esteemed guest speaker, a dynamic IS officer, Dr. Harshadeep Kamle Sir. He is the Principal Secretary of Industries, Government of Maharashtra. Under his leadership, Maharashtra recently signed several MOUs worth rupees 1 lakh crores with various multinational companies from Europe, Japan, Taiwan, and many more. We request, sir, to please guide the students on recent industry trends and its connect with the international universities to help students become future ready. Over to you, sir. Yeah, hi. Uh, am I audible, please? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, good evening, everybody. This is Arshadip Kamle here. And uh, I'm very happy to be actually a part of this uh, very, very important program, which deals with the education in one of the best universities around the globe. Today, it is basically about uh, universities in UK and, uh, sorry, uh, UK, Europe, and then in Taiwan. One of the guest speakers which we have today is uh, Dr. Sitsat. Uh, I happened to meet him and uh, discuss about this uh, program. So he is known to me, but before that, I would like to thank actually Meta Global Foundation for uh, uh, their uh, uh, initiative. This is one of the very good initiative, I would say. Education is the key for any kind of a progress. And Meta Global Foundation has come out with this uh, this wonderful program, which is based on uh, uh, you know a kind of a higher education abroad. Basically, as I mentioned, in Europe, UK, Taiwan. Now, Taiwan is a very interesting country. Uh, but before I go into that, uh, I was told that Meta Global Foundation is also going to help the students in uh, preparing them for the admissions in these prestigious universities. One, second, they are also going to uh, help them in whatever documentation part that is being done, but uh, more of that would be told by them in a later part of the session. I will concentrate more on uh, why we should go for such kind of uh, uh, well-placed universities and what is the advantage in the life. Being in industries now for more than six years, it has given me at least some insights, I can say, to tell you a few things. I was mentioning that uh, Taiwan is a wonderful country. Everybody knows about, uh, for example, company Foxconn. And uh, they, are, they are manufacturing, uh, you know, the parts for the iPhone and then the assembly is being, getting, is being uh, now done in uh, India as well. 
So most of the iPhones are now very soon they will have this I made in India uh, marking as well. Not many of you may be knowing that. Uh, just a second, please. So not many of you may be knowing that uh, Foxconn is also acquiring many, many companies which are into electric vehicles. So just like they are, they are making every small part of iPhone, what they want to do is they want to also manufacture all the electronics parts of the electric vehicles. And they must have acquired not less than 300 companies, small, small startups they must have acquired in this process. So technologically, Taiwan has been doing a lot of progress, let it be semiconductors, which we already know about. Let it be electric vehicles, which I told you now. Let it be electronics, which I told you now. Europe, of course, is very well known for uh, education based on uh, technology. Germany, we know about. We know many brands like Mercedes, Volkswagen, Skoda, so Audi. So many companies, because Germany is known for engineering goods. Germany is known for best of the automobiles. So they are known for technology. So today we are also going to, uh, Dr. Sivsat is going to talk to you more in details about European universities, also as well as about uh, Taiwanese university. The point which I'm trying to make is that these kind of universities, why Taiwan has developed so much? Because they have such good universities where they get the best of the technical knowledge that is possible. Taiwan may jo my Foxconn ke baare mein bata raha tha, to wahan pe jo technology related education jo milta hai, that is very specific to uh, electronics, electrical, semiconductors, material science, and those universities now are ranked in one of the uh, you know, 100 or 200 universities. So that is one advantage. European universities are already known for their uh, good education based on technology. Why I am emphasizing on technology is that what I feel after five years or six years now of my uh, experience in industry, I personally feel that technology is a solution which can take anybody much ahead. If you are knowledgeable in technology, if you are hands-on on technology, so that is where the progress lies now because we have seen that because of the internet, everybody is connected now. During COVID time, COVID time mein hume dekhne ko mila ki kaise chote chote uh, solutions jo bahut paise Usme youngsters ne jinke startups the unhone kamaye hain. Aur ye sab technology based chije jo hai abhi badte ja rahi hai, badte ja rahi hai. Abhi ham log industry revolution ki jab baat karte hain, to abhi industry 4.0 ki ham log baat kar rahe hain. Jisme machine to machine intelligence jo hai, wo develop ho raha hai. Ek machine dusre machine se kaise baat karega, ye gyan abhi aage ya aate ja raha hai. There are sensors that are created. There are IoT products that are created. And this is what is going to rule the world tomorrow. This is why I think that this session is very important from that angle. If you look at this date, you can see that there are many companies. I was there in Davos very recently. I was there in Davos very recently. We have tied up with 1 lakh 37,000 crore of MOUs with different companies. There, जैसे महिंद्रा के साथ में हमने किया है दैट वाज 10000 क्रोर्स ऑफ एमओयू महिंद्रा एंड महिंद्रा ये महाराष्ट्र में 10000 करोड़ रुपया इलेक्ट्रिक नए इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल बनाने में डाल रहा है और लगभग 3000 के आसपास जॉब्स जो है वो स्पेशलाइज्ड जॉब्स क्रिएट होने वाले हैं दूसरा गोगोरो नाम के ताइवान की कंपनी है ये कंपनी जो इलेक्ट्रिकल स्कूटर्स बनाती है और 
उनके जो बैटरी है वो बैटरी स्वैपिंग के भी सिस्टम उनके पास में बहुत अच्छे से तैवान में चल रहा है वो यहाँ पर महाराष्ट्र में आके इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं उनका इन्वेस्टमेंट लगभग दस हजार करोड़ उनका भी इन्वेस्टमेंट होने वाला है तो ये बैटरी स्वैपिंग टेक्नोलॉजी और वो खुद अपना प्लांट जो है टू वी इलेक्ट्रिक टू व्हीलर का इलेक्ट्रिक स्कूटर का प्लांट जो है वो महाराष्ट्र में लगाने वाले ये जॉब्स भी बहुत सारे क्रिएट यहाँ पर भी होने वाले लेकिन इसका ओरिजिन अगर आप एजुकेशन जो मिलता है उसके कारण ये प्रोग्रेस जो है ये प्रोग्रेस उनका हुआ है ऐसा मेरा मानना है अभी इसको देखते हुए आप देखोगे कि भारत का हर बड़े स्टेट जो है ये तैवान के साथ में टाइप करना चाहते हैं हम लोग भी टाइप करना चाहते हैं और वहां की जो टेक्नोलॉजी कंपनीज है उनके साथ में हम जुड़ना चाहते हैं लेकिन उन्होंने एक बात जो मुझे समझ में आई जब मेरा इंटरेक्शन उनके साथ में हुआ वो ये है कि वहां पे रिसर्च काफी अच्छा होता है ये यूनिवर्सिटीज में काफी अच्छा रिसर्च होता है यूरोप की यूनिवर्सिटीज तो रिसर्च के मामले में माहिर है तो इंडस्ट्री एकेडमिकिया और ये यूनिवर्सिटीज इनका रिसर्च इतना अच्छा वहां पर चलता है उसके कारण ये बहुत अच्छे अच्छे प्रोडक्ट्स टेक्नोलॉजी रिलेटेड प्रोडक्ट जो है वो वहाँ पे हमें देखने को मिलते हैं जिसकी पूरी दुनिया में अभी नाम है जिसकी डिमांड है और वहाँ पे डिमांड जब ज्यादा है तो उन लोगों को लोग भी ज्यादा चाहिए परसों में यूके की एक बहुत बड़ी कंपनी के साथ में जो सेमीकंडक्टर्स में डील करती है उनके साथ में वीसी पे में बात कर रहा था तो उनका भी प्लान चल रहा है कि वो भी महाराष्ट्र में आके कुछ इन्वेस्ट करे या भारत में आके कुछ इन्वेस्ट करे तो उनका यूके यूएसए की भी एक बड़ी कंपनी है तो ये लोग जब यहाँ पर आएंगे सो दे आर गोइंग टू रिक्वायर लॉट ऑफ स्किल्ड मैन पावर विथ सम काइंड ऑफ प्रोफिशिएंसी इन दिस इन दिस सर्टेन टेक्नोलॉजीज और मुझे लगता है कि इसका सबसे ज्यादा ये सेमिनार का सबसे ज्यादा बेनिफिट जो हमें होने वाला है वो अगर ये हम टेक्नोलॉजी की तरफ जाते हैं वो हम लोग स्टडी करते हैं उसका जरिया हमें मालूम हो जाता है तो उसके लिए एक बहुत बड़ा बेहतरीन सेमिनार ये रहेगा ऐसे ऐसा मुझे लगता है और उन्होंने कुछ क्वेश्चन आंसर सेशन भी इसके साथ में रखा है आई थिंक ये जो चीजें है ये मेता ग्लोबल फाउंडेशन का काम मैं काफी दिनों से अभी देख रहा हूँ तो वो इसको फॉलोअप भी करेंगे इसकी मुझे आशा है और इसके साथ में जो स्टूडेंट्स की जो भी इश्यूज आते हैं उसमें मैं पर्सनली भी कुछ मदद जो मेरी तरफ से जो भी होगी वो मैं मैं खुद करना चाहूंगा बट दिस इज द कॉन्सेप्ट इट सेल्फ इज वेरी वेरी गुड वी हैव टू फोकस ऑन टेक्नोलॉजी विच इज गोइंग टू बी फ्यूचर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड टू टूडे एंड ऑल्सो फॉर टूमारो तो इसमें अगर आप जाते हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि आपका भविष्य जो है ये एक सुनिश्चित हो जाएगा और एक अच्छे पगार की नौकरी भी आपको मिलेगी पगार की नौकरी के साथ साथ में नए टेक्नोलॉजी में आप जाते हो तो नए नए सॉल्यूशन निकालते हो तो आप खुद का भी स्टार्टअप जो है वो भी आप सेटअप कर सकते हो एक बहुत बढ़िया एडवांटेज इसमें है एक बहुत बड़ी अपॉर्चुनिटी है लेकिन एक एडवाइस मैं देना चाहता हूँ कि नथिंग कम्स फ्री ये बात आप ध्यान में रखिए फ्री का मतलब पैसे का मेरा मतलब नहीं है लेकिन हार्डवर्क इसको करने की बहुत जरूरी होती है आप अभी हमें सक्सेसफुल ऑफिसर के रूप में देखते हो लेकिन इसके पीछे भी हमारी बहुत मेहनत लगी हुई है कोई भी बड़ी कंपनी को भी आप देखते हो तो उन्होंने बहुत छोटी शुरुआत जो है वो की है फिर धीरे धीरे बहुत मेहनत और लगन से आज वो बड़े मुकाम पे पहुंचे हैं आपको भी ये बहुत मेहनत करने की जरूरत है लेकिन बहुत सारे यूनिवर्सिटीज में अभी ऐसे हो रहा है कि जहाँ पे स्टूडेंट्स का इंटेक कम हो रहा है जैसे ताइवान एक ऐसा देश है जहां पर स्टूडेंट का इंटेक अभी कम हो रहा है यूनिवर्सिटी काफी अच्छी है इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर अच्छा है तो आप वहां पे अगर जाते हैं लेकिन उसके लिए ऑफ कोर्स आपको एग्जाम देनी पड़ती है और कंपटीशन तो है ही है वो कंपटीशन को पार करके अगर आप वहां पर जाते हैं तो मुझे लगता है कि आप अपने यशस्वी जीवन का सक्सेसफुल जीवन की पहली बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप आपने डाल दी है ऐसा मेरा मानना रहेगा और uh, मैं इसके साथ ही uh, मेरे शब्दों को विराम देना चाहता हूँ बिकॉज देन देर आर देर वुड बी अ प्रेजेंटेशन एंड देर इज अ क्वेश्चन आंसर सेशन ऑल्सो आई वुड ऑल्सो बी अ पार्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन आंसर सेशन एंड देन आई वुड टेक वट एवर क्वेश्चन यू हैव अबाउट एनीथिंग दैट यू थिंक इज फिट फॉर मी टू आंसर थैंक यू सोनाली जी आपका बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आपने हमें यहाँ पर uh, यहाँ पे जो पार्टिसिपेंट्स है उनसे बात करने का हमको ये मौका दिया है and uh, as i mentioned 
I would definitely like to be part of this very, very good initiative, which is need of the world. And it's, uh, I think everybody should go for these kind of uh, uh, courses, which are available abroad. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for this insightful talk. I hope the students make most of it. Um, I would now like to invite our next speaker. Uh, he's an experienced academician and very knowledgeable professor MD Shirsat, supported by Dr. Vijay Kiran. Let me brief you a little about uh, professor. Professor MD Shirsat is a senior professor at Department of Physics and Director Rusa Center, Chairman of Department of Electronics at Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar Maratpada University, Aurangabad. He has won a number of awards and fellowships from world's top universities. He has been a visiting professor for some of the most renowned universities in North America, Europe, and Asia. Joining him in support will be Dr. Vijay Kiran Narwade. He is a recipient of several national and international fellowships and National Scholarship Program, Slovakia, and Bharti Fellowship. He is a researcher and has published a number of research papers. His papers have received wide citations. Both Dr. Shirsat and Vijay Kiran themselves have active academic engagements with European and Taiwanese universities. They have firsthand knowledge and experience of their academic processes and will be there to help all the interested candidates who are viewing this now. We request them to present and guide the students, please. So over to you. Uh, at the outset, uh, uh, let me express my sincere gratitude to the Metta Global Foundations for giving us this wonderful opportunity to share, uh, to have an interaction with large group of uh, students across the state of Maharashtra. Uh, respected uh, Dr. Harshadeep Kamble, sir, all official officers of uh, Mitta Global Foundation, my colleague Dr. Vijay Karan Narvade, and all students participating in this webinar through various platforms. Very good evening, everybody. Dear student, uh, before I uh, uh, let me share my screen first. So I hope that my screen is visible and I'm very much audible. Is my screen visible, Sonali ji? Hello? Is my screen visible? So we are working on it. Please give us a moment. OK. Uh, okay, good evening everybody. Uh, this is Professor Mahindra Sirsat and I am here to uh, share my, our experiences in the area of uh, having, uh, you know, like uh, opportunity sharing of our experiences, providing opportunities to the student in various foreign universities. Uh, before I start the proceedings, dear student, let me tell you, I work in various foreign universities like 
United States of America, UK, Australia, France, Japan, South Korea and Taiwan in the capacity of visiting professor and visiting scientist. And whenever I visited those countries and universities, I had a lot of interaction with various stakeholders of the universities, including authorities of the universities and uh, students of uh, in those various universities. Based on those, uh, you know, interaction, I had few observations and I thought like I should share those observations right in the beginning. Um, those observations are number one, Indian students are respected like anything in most of those universities for two reasons. Number one, most of the Indian students who are working outside, taking their education, masters and doing masters and PhD in all those foreign universities, they are, most of them are very talented and they are having hard working attitudes. So this is one of the reason, these are some of the reasons why the students are respected uh, like anything in most of those universities. Observation number two, most of those universities in foreign countries are in shortage of local students, particularly for PAD. And one of the reasons for that is local students are getting employment soon after getting their master's degree. And there are very few students they will be going for PAD degree. And as a result of that, the plenty of opportunities are available for the foreign student, particularly Indian student. As I mentioned earlier, Indian students are very hardworking there. They are very talented and, and most of those universities, they are looking at Indian students. Therefore, they have wonderful opportunities. There are plenty of opportunities available for Indian students for masters and as well as PhD. Plenty of like what I observed is there are a good amount of, you know, options available even for getting like, you know, part time job as well, because, uh, you know, like I'm going to share with you, like uh, what kind of scholarship options, those options would be available whenever you will be enrolling for masters and PhD program. But even if you don't get a scholarship or if, even if you don't get full scholarship, there are a number of options available for student for part time job as well. Next observation is many European universities, whatever I have experienced in Germany and uh, France and uh, Slovakia, many uh, German universities, particularly public universities, they are charging very nominal tuition fees. And uh, uh, the other universities, they are having like those who are charging substantial tuition fees, they are having a number of options for a scholarship too. And therefore, it would be easier for student to, to enroll for PhD program as compared to master's program because one of the reasons for that, as it is mentioned by Kamli sir, Harshidip Kamli sir, that the research is going to be very, very important in those universities. Whenever students are enrolling there for PhD, they will be working very hard and they will be generating a lot of, you know, uh, patents and research papers. And as a result of that, students are going to get a number of fellowship options whenever they will be looking for PhD program in those universities. And last and very important observation, which I had during my interaction with and visit to those universities, like when I compared the, uh, the infrastructure available in most of the Taiwanese university with that of, you know, universities in US, UK, Australia, what I have seen is the infrastructure is at par because most of those universities are having state of the infrastructure and it is very much at par with United States of America, UK, Australia. And there is no I mean, second thought on that. Apart from that, you know, like work environment in Taiwan is really excellent. Wonderful like work as well. Like they have a lot of freedom. People are really nice. And these are some of the reasons why like we are every year we are sending a good number of students in Taiwanese universities for doing masters as well as PhD. However, in spite of this, however, there are many students, they are not able to place themselves in prestigious universities uh, in Taiwan as well as Europe. There are a couple of reasons for that. One of the reasons is a lack of awareness. And this is the program where we are going to provide you wonderful uh, like uh, guidance for, you know, what kind of fellowships are available, what are the options available for getting enrolled into those universities. And another uh, hurdle is going to be like uh, the financial constraint, because if you want to apply to US universities for each and every university, you will have to 
pay around 100 USD, uh, you know, application fees. So if you want to apply like 10 universities, obviously you need to pay substantially. However, on the other hand, if you go to Taiwanese, many Taiwanese universities and many European universities, their application, either application fee is very, very marginal or there are many universities I have seen, they don't charge any application, any fees for, for uh, sending applications. So these are some of the advantages. And therefore, the, the primary intent of this initiative is going to be, we want to empower students to enroll, to place them for MS and uh, for master's and PhD program in those universities. However, here we have mentioned like three important sectors, material science engineering, electronics or electronic electrical engineering and the computer science engineering. There are like, it doesn't mean that those university doesn't have options for other branches of engineering as well as sciences. But we are focusing more on this is like uh, in India, because you know, like Taiwan is being a like uh, leading country for semiconductor manufacturing. And there are many universities that are focusing more on, you know, like training students in semiconducting engineering. And this electrical engineering and computer science engineering is going to be complementary for those semiconductor industries. And that is why we thought like we should, you know, like promote students for enrolling in these three important branches of engineering as well as sciences. And another important reason for that is in India also, many semiconductor industries are going to establish very soon. And there will be required huge requirement of skill manpower in, in India. And therefore, we believe that if you could place students in those universities, uh, overseas universities in these three important branches of engineering and sciences, I'm sure after completion of their master's and PhD, they will be able to get wonderful, like very good employment, very good salary package back in India as well. The another very important objective of this particular initiative is to, to inculcate sense of belongingness and accountability to pay back to the society in their respective capacities when they will be returning back to India. And this is like, let me tell you, Jammai uh, University, Jammai US, I used to have a lot of interaction with students. And out of my curiosity, like, uh, uh, like I used to have a lot of interaction with Indian students, those who are doing masters and PhD there. And I used to ask them, like after completion of your master's and PhD, what you are going to do? Like, are you going, are you going back to India? But most of them used to say, I used to feel like very bad about this. Because what I believe is, once you get yourself and reach with those, you know, latest technology, you should get back to your respective country and work for the poor people. And this is what the important message of Dr. Babasa Ambedkar was that you need to, you know, uh, have that kind of belongingness and accountability to pay back to the society. And this is what our another objective of this uh, Meta Global Foundation is going to be. Uh, uh, like in due course of time, like we are going to uh, make the create a wonderful like a kind of awareness among the student, like what kind of uh, as I mentioned earlier, what kind of admissions procedure is there? What kind of but first of all, like what are the universities options available in European Europe and Taiwan? And then what are the courses available? What is their QS ranking? What kind of infrastructure available? what like what is the admission process eligibility criteria all those things are going to be very very important and let me tell you my friend as i mentioned earlier there are plenty of scholarship options available in taiwan in particular europe as i mentioned earlier europe mein agar jaoge aap to aapko tuition fees like there are many public universities jahan par aapko tuition fees bahut hi marginal pay karni hogi but you need to pay you know to have a substantial you know saving with you uh, but if you go to Taiwan, like day to day expenses are also very, very less. And moreover, uh, those who will be willing to, to enroll in these universities, language competencies, competencies is going to play important role for their uh, selection, either IELTS or TOEFL. So we are going to create a sort of awareness like how to appear for IELTS and TOEFL, how to earn those uh, language competency. 
Moreover, in order to place the student for master's and PhD program, the research is going to be very, very important. What kind of technical skill you have, whether you have any publication out of your, uh, during your bachelor's and master's, you know, this is going to be one of the challenging aspects. Hamare India mein kabhi bhi bachelor mein kabhi research nahi hota hai. And therefore, but when you go to, when you go to like abroad, they are going to ask you what kind of research you have done, what kind of technical skill you have. And therefore, we need to uh, create a sort of awareness among the student during that bachelor that during that bachelor, they should undertake a kind of project in which they will earn some kind of technical skills as well as they will be able to, you know, convert their project into one or other Scopus publications because that is going to play very important role. Agar manlo, or like if your CGPA during your bachelor is around somewhere around seven to eight, having one research publication and IL score around six, six point five, you are done. You are going to get, you are going to place in very good university and you are going to get full scholarship as well. And another very important objective of this initiative is going to we, we want to convert the, the network of the students across the globe. Particularly, we will be focusing on European and Taiwanese universities. What is going to be yearly target? Our yearly targets is going to be, we want to send at least minimum 25 students in European and Taiwanese university. I'm going to tell you that 25 target has been kept because we started a little bit late this year because the fall admission process has already been initiated. But it's more than that. We can place more than 100 students every year, every semester. In most of the foreign universities, I'm going to tell you that there are two intake, fall semester and, and the spring semester. Abhi jo admission process chara hai fall semester ka, which is going to be coming from uh, somewhere in the month of August uh, this year. August ka jo kam semester shuru hoga jo fall semester hai, uska enrollment abhi shuru, matlab registration online application abhi chara hai. And the field of study, like, and uh, let me tell you, we are going to specially encourage the girl student because we want to like make it sure that uh, equal number of girls students will be will be uh, you know applying and they will be uh, doing masters and PhD in uh, those uh, you know uh, overseas universities and the field of study like our interests are going to be three main subjects as I mentioned earlier reasons I have also mentioned earlier that we are going to have wonderful uh, good number of job opportunities available back to India after completion of your masters and uh, PhD. Regarding top universities, QS universities, if you open the internet, you will know that because this is like some of the universities I have listed down here, top universities in Europe, Japan, South Korea and Taiwan. If you open the internet, because you can see University of Cambridge is QS ranking 2 in, in, in the QS world university ranking. Oxford is 4. So whenever you are going to like United Kingdom, the competition is going to be more. There, the requirement is going to be more stringent. But if you look at South Korea, you can see the South Korea, like Seoul National University, 29 World University ranking. Uh, Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology. I've been to this particular uh, institute. Wonderful, wonderful, uh, you know, institute for doing, you know, uh, masters and PhD. Mostly here, like in, in this Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, they encourage more PhD students rather than masters. But there are uh, the branches, like this is what I mentioned, like computer engineering and then uh, the, the material science. Uh, they, they, they enroll students for masters as well. If you look at the another side, like you can see those, I, I've been to Osaka University as well in Japan, 68 were university ranking. Forget about that. You can see, if you look at this Taiwan, National Taiwan University, 77 uh, QS ranking. And there are many universities in Taiwan. They are somewhere, they may not be like all those universities are not in first hundred. But let me tell you, the infrastructure, the kind of, like there are many universities in first 500. And uh, in India, you know that there are very few uh, universities in the first 500. First 100, there are no university. There are a couple of uh, institutes in first 200. But Taiwan has one university, very wonderful university in first 100 QS, like top universities in the world. And as far as infrastructure is concerned, as I mentioned earlier, very, very wonderful infrastructure. Let me give you a glimpses of uh, some of the European universities, like particularly UK. You can see these universities like University of Cambridge, as I mentioned, because I've been to University of Cambridge as well, Oxford University, University, uh, but these colleges like Imperial College London, King's College, these are like tough, you know, institutions uh, uh, as far as the QS ranking is concerned. 
and if you look at even in this in these universities because i have be, i been to those in these universities some of these universities as well like i been to imperial college of london king's college also university of cambridge and i had interaction with you know university authorities as well as the student there and uh, if you look at the ms and phd programs like yes these three benches are available in most of those universities and there are plenty of you know fully funded scholarship programs available there as far as the criteria eligibility criteria in these those uk universities is concerned you see here you need a cgpa somewhere around around 7 first class with around that those you know six around 7 cgpa and as i mentioned earlier uk the competition is a little bit more like you need gre as well with score around 300 to 340 and with ias or tofel if you are having these three qualifications with you i'm sure you are going to place very easily in any uk university and as far as phd positions are concerned i mean like for phd for doctoral study obviously your research proposal need to be very very strong your state statement of purpose sop it need to be very very strong and that is why if you really want to enroll yourself in uh, for phd program you need to like during your masters as i mentioned earlier if you could publish agar aap agar ek research paper scopus index mein agar publish karte ho during your masters which is very much doable and this is what we have been doing in dr baba saheb ambedkar marathwada university since last uh, almost 5 to 6 years every year we are making it sure that the master student is going to complete his ps his or her ps masters i mean the msc along with at least one scopus index paper and uh, they are doing ielts also simultaneously and they are placing uh, you know in many foreign universities for their phd as far as the germany is concerned as i mentioned earlier technical university munich uh, you know humboldt university these are some of the very top uh, class universities in the world these universities i have like all those red color universities they are like top universities in the world they have these three important branches like material science engineering electronics electrical and computer engineering and here also there is large number of fellowships options available like in germany there are two different uh, you know level of university like there are some public funded universities and some private funded in private universities public universities they are charging very very marginal tuition fees but as i mentioned earlier ki aapko tuition fees to bahut kam rahenge but daily expenses wahan par relatively zyada hai but if you go to private universities they charge little bit more lekin unke paas scholarship ke options bhi bahut sare hote hain and again like requirement same as that of uk you need to be like uh, first class graduate with around 7 cgpa during your under graduation uh, score gre score should be around but let me tell you here in case of in germany gre need not be there like without gre also if you are having ielts score around 7 you can be easily placed for your masters and phd and let me tell you one more very important thing in uh, important aspect of germany like if you somehow could manage to learn german before you enter into germany because there are many options available because you see in germany there are many english taught program jinka medium of instruction english hoga and there are some german taught program as well agar aapko german language proficiency agar hai minimum level jiska jis matlab aap read kar sakte ho pad sakte ho and then write kar sakte ho agar wo competency agar aapke paas hai then you can enroll in german taught program and then you like there are many german taught program with almost zero tuition fees and you are going to get many options for doing part time job as well within like two couple of months you will get part time job as well so but uske liye aapko german uh, proficiency honi chahiye is not only germany even slovakia also in most of the european countries like if you could have the you know uh, the local language if you could have the language competency of the local language like slovakian agar aap slovakia jate ho agar slovakian agar aapke paas agar wo competency agar hai so there are many slovak uh, taught program english taught program to hai but in addition to that there are many slovak taught program there you can enroll with almost zero tuition fees and you will have you know options available for part time job as well as far as the slovakian university is concerned phd options phd uh, and uh, masters uh, applications are open as of now 
because the reason for knowing is like we have good collaboration with many European universities and Slovakia. Uh, the communist uh, uh, communist university is one of those of Bratislava, which is capital of uh, Slovakia. I will be visiting this Bratislava very soon um, later in this month for uh, one of the uh, national scholarship program in one of the national scholarship program for doing uh, for teaching as well as research. And I'm going to tell you like why Europe and Taiwan is better destination uh, because our focus would be on more on Taiwan. The reason for that is, as I mentioned earlier, if you look at the infrastructure available in Taiwanese universities, and European universities, infrastructure is really, really wonderful. I, I remember like uh, the, in 2016-17, I went to uh, uh, University of Reims uh, in France. And when I was visiting those universities during daytime, I could not see students. There were very few students uh, I could see in the laboratories. And when I was university, I saw that there were very few students. Out of curiosity, when I asked, when I interacted with the professor and when I asked you, like, why there are limited students here? He said, like, local students, they don't want to do PhD. And we are waiting, we are, we are searching for a good student for the PAD enrollment. They, were, they said like, we are having plenty of options available for, you know, scholarship too. So, this means that the European, including France, the many European universities, hai, they, they have a wonderful infrastructure, very, because I have seen from, from very close proximity. Because uh, I, I have witnessed those in the infrastructure. So they have got the state of the state of that infrastructure. If you look at the, you know, uh, the scholarship option. Yes, in Europe and particularly in Taiwan, there are numerous number of scholarship options available. Uh, uh, as far as this uh, employment options are concerned, there are a number of employment options available during your studies and after completion of study as well. As far as Taiwan is concerned, Taiwan is really very peaceful country. It is one of the, they have got well-developed healthcare system because, because, because I spent, I have visited Taiwan for many, 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 many times because I'm visiting professor in one of the top Taiwan universities, the fifth most affordable country to study in the world, fifth most affordable country. Because if you really want to uh, visit Taiwan and if you don't have any scholarship, you need to pay only 20 to 25,000 rupees for your monthly expenses, not much. And as far as the work permit is concerned, they have got a very easy procedure for getting work, uh, work permit and placement of percentage of placement is really very high. As far as challenges are concerned, like whenever we are talking about enrollment of the student, there will be few challenges that student need to look at like communication skill. It means like language competency. Language competency is going to play a very important role. Both logo Pataini ki Taiwan may it may a chain institutes available high scholarship options available hai. Moreover, like this area may have jana chai, wo bi logo ko Pataini hai. Because up up the kena ki Taiwan being a you know like first like leading country in semiconductor hub. If you really want to go to Taiwan, these three subjects to three uh, discipline to priority honi chai, material science engineering, electronics engineering, and computer engineering. Wo bi Pataini hota hai. Both are challenges I say ki, uh, during bachelor's and master in India mein research hota nahi. But if you could do little research during your bachelor, hum agar bacho ko, student ko aware kare ki bhai aapko jo hai during bachelor project undertake karna hai, master's mein karna hai and you need to make it sure that you are going to end up with one research publication good journal. Agar mein jas mein bataya ki if you could do that one research paper, if you could publish one research paper in Scopus Index Journal with like around 7 CGP and IELTS uh, around 7, uh, 6 to 7 uh, IELTS score, you are going to place in good universities in, uh, in the world. These are some of the top universities in Taiwan, like including NTU, NTUST, they're very, very good universities. And let me tell you, uh, just like when recently National Taipei University of Technology, whose ranking 436. Hai. Because ranking wise, we have 436, hai. but when I entered that university, I don't infrastructure. I have seen many Indian students there. And professors are very, very student friendly. Uh, uh, as far as the important deadlines of Taiwanese universities are concerned, Mahaka first round already has been initiated, like first, second January to 15th of March, like up to 15th of March. Uh, and result is going to be announced in 1st of May. 
they do have second layer of uh, admission as well second round of admission will start on 16th of march and it will end on 14th of uh, april and uska result announcement hoga 1 june to agar maan lo kuch universities ka deadline agar aapke haath se agar fisal chuka hai first round ka that is second second round of exam uh, admission is always going to be there जैसे मैंने बताया कि देर आर प्लेंटी ऑफ ऑप्शन अवेलेबल फॉर स्कॉलरशिप स्पेसिफिकली आई एम टेलिंग तैबानीज यूनिवर्सिटीज नाउ आप देखिए कि देर आर देर आर फोर डिफरेंट ऑप्शन ऑप्शन नंबर ए होगा कि फुल ट्यूशन फी वेवर होगा आपको ट्यूशन फीस कुछ कुछ पे करने की जरूरत नहीं होगा एंड देन फॉर यू कैन गेट अ ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड एन टी डी स्टाइप एन फॉर एम एस एंड एटीन थाउजेंड एन टी डी फॉर पी एडी आपको मैं बताऊं अगर आपको तैबान में अगर अच्छे से अच्छा भी रहना है तो यू डोंट रिक्वायर मोर देन टेन थाउजेंड एन टी डी like 6000 to 10000 ntd is more than enough for all your expenses including your uh, dormitory charges but you are going to get 12000 ntd for uh, for masters and 18000 ntd for a phd student there is a type b like full tuition fees waiver but half of the tu- uh, stipend like 6000 for ms and 9000 for a phd tisra option bhi hai jab few tuition aapko tuition fees waiver milega pura बट स्कॉलर स्टाइपेंड नहीं मिलेगा तो यहाँ पर जैसे मैंने बताया कि इवन इन तैवान अल्सो यू आर हैविंग गुड नंबर ऑफ ऑप्शन अवेलेबल फॉर पार्ट टाइम जॉब देर आई हैव सीन मेनी स्टूडेंट टीचर असिस्टेंटशिप करते हैं they 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 are working in uh, very uh, small scale uh, industries as well and earning their money uh, as which is required for their day to day expenses jaise maine bataya ki wahan par aapko 6000 to 10000 entity lagenge mahine ke aapke daily expenses fulfill karne ke liye and type d hoga half tuition fees waiver i have seen many student there in taiwan ki jinko full scholarship mil rahi hai 50% of scholarship they are sending back to their parent कैसे कुछ मैंने ऐसे स्टूडेंट देखे वहां पर तैबान में कि दे आर गेटिंग लाइक हाफ ट्यूशन फीस वेवर एंड वर्किंग इन द इन द पार्ट टाइम इन स्मॉल स्मॉल इंडस्ट्रीज एंड एंड दे आर सर्वाइविंग रियली नाइसली एज पर एज द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन पार्ट इज कंसर्न आई विल रिक्वेस्ट माय कलीग डॉक्टर विजय करण टू टेक केयर ऑफ दिस डॉक्यूमेंटेशन एस्पेक्ट डॉक्टर विजय वोट टू यू Dr. Vijay Kiran, who is my colleague, he is going to take care of the documentation part. Sanala ji, can you please? Uh... हेलो हेलो सर या नाउ आई एम ऑडिबल यस यस वी आर ऑडिबल यू प्लीज गो हेड या थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू ऑनरेबल हर्षदीप कामळे सर and uh, professor mahendra shir sir sir for setting up a great foundation for today's webinar now all the future aspirants students they already went through the lot of slides uh, may, i must say like uh, interesting slides and they are getting like very much of like uh, good sort of information but uh, ultimately one question it is like a tinkering in their mind that what sort of like uh, documentation or preparation one need to have so that they will get the uh, miss they will enter in the vast avenues uh, opportunities uh, area so ultimately you can see on the screen that uh, these are the some of the important document and i already went through these are the documents during my uh, phd studies or that of the postdoc studies so i have some of the sort of like experience that how one should have to prepare uh, miss this document so that you can easily crack or easily can uh, like uh, cross this hurdles uh, for the scholarships and you can enter abroad for the like uh, for the like uh, higher education so you can easily see that on the screen that uh, some of the important documents that we really have to have like uh, uh, that is cv i will go through like uh, each document and how one have to prepare these documents that uh, first document it is needed is uh, like a cv then uh, like uh, motivation letter cv then recommendation letter transcripts or records language certificates uh, if you are in like bachelor 
and if you are hoping for the master then probably you will not have the research articles but if you are in a master you really have uh, work hard for the publication in terms of like research article and if you are really hoping for the phd studies in that case tentative research plans plays the vital role now among these documents uh, you may see that english proficiency is very much of important generally it is referred to be like a lpt on the screen you can see like uh, two examinations that are like uh, first uh, hurdle that it, it will come into a way uh, when you are trying for the abroad studies that is the ilts or that of the toefl generally it is referred to be like a test of english as a foreign language and the second one is the international english language testing system now this test toefl is applicable most of the time it is applicable to like uh, uk miss uh, us universities american universities and australian universities while uh, this ilts is applicable to like uh, uh, european and that of the uk universities one must have to understand that uh, through this examination this uh, authority is uh, like uh, checking you are listening reading uh, that of the writing and speaking abilities and one more thing again it is important while preparing you have to like spend like uh, three to four months thoroughly because uh, for this examination it's like a very high huge amount of like uh, exam fees is there so you should uh, prepare very well for this examination now the second document uh, which is like a of like a paramount of importance for your application is a like a motivation letter now motivation letter name itself is a, uh, suggesting that what actually motives you to pursue your master or that of the phd abroad now for this one is like a just a one page document and within that one uh, you have to put more and more about the your motives or that of the ideas uh means uh, that that can appeal to selection committee or that of the professor for that one you really have to do very hard work means for that for preparations you have to work on that one uh, you have to stress on the that of the, your strength weaknesses that of the opportunity and that of the challenges and again uh, these are the important points that you have to cover up in your motivation letter of the like uh, you should have to maintain the consistency uh, means you have to mention the professional tone in your present miss in terms of like a motivation letter now again one of the document which is a very much of important for applying uh, that is the curriculum vitae now most of the miss uh, i have studied like uh, in european countries at that time uh, cv in terms of like if you are applying to european union uh, universities at that time one document it is very much of important and that is referred to be like a europa cv now europa cv also is a format of like uh, curriculum vitae and if you are looking towards the like uh, uh, in terms of like a length of the uh, cv it is like greater than that of the resume resume is generally we are utilizing for like job app prospects but uh, cv if you are applying for like a studentship uh, for master or that of the phd cv plays the vital role now if you are in a like a master most of the time you are pursuing like a research activity or you are having the publication so there is a like a possibility that your cv it get longer now again with that one the another document uh, that i already mentioned in previous slide uh, is of the that the first uh, certificate is of the like a language certificate second one is like a motivation letter then cv and after that uh, one document it is important and most of the universities if you are looking towards the any uh, like uh, eligibility or that of the documentation for most of the uh, fellowships these documents are important and within that one transcripts is also one of the document now what transcripts are the uh, are the like a simple document means we really think that uh, what exactly mean by transcript transcript is just a mark memo what we are doing we are just standardize our mark memo so that it can can be like uh, uh, easily get uh, means most of the uh, like european universities or like global university can accept that your document so transcript is just a detailed record of your marks grades that have been generated by your current or that of the former university now with this with this one one document again it's important that is the recommendation letter now always remember this one that these documents are representation means uh, represents you means generally what happened that we are giving the interview and we are facing the interview that means we are representing yourself first at the earlier stage like uh, at the earlier like a scrutiny stage what we do we generally send the documents 
that means this document uh, documents are like representing you that means you have to prepare very well for this document so that you can go to like a next stage now among that one motivation letter we are describing about ourselves but the recommendation letter is like your professor is uh, describing about your capabilities whether you are suitable for particular positions or not so for master like one or two uh, recommendations are important but if you are trying for phd at that time like almost like a two to three recommendations are crucial for your application now within this one uh, as if you are in master at that time uh, means most of the time we are trying for securing the funds for your research and at that time research proposal is a one of the document which is crucial one now research proposal is a document written by the researcher that provides the detailed description of your proposed program now if you are having the very good sort of like a research proposal document ultimately you can uh, secure the funding easily that means your research proposal it it should be like a, it's like a considerable when it is like a full of ideas uh, it, it should have the no, uh, more that of the like uh, novelties and within that one uh, if you are looking towards the like uh, flow of the uh, research proposal title that of the like uh, hypothesis that of the objectives of your work and that of the methodology plays the vital role in that one you have to consider these points while preparing the uh, research proposal and after that if you are looking towards the, this particular slide what you are finding that most of the like uh, either if you are like for applying for the master degree or that of the phd degree for both uh, like for master and that of the phd whatever the documents i already mentioned these are the part of this most of the means either if you are applying to european union fellowships or like uh, uh, eastern country that is the taiwan south korea japan these documents are like the base for all documents now if you are checking this one uh, for if you are trying for the master of course bachelor degree should be there but within that one you can see that either you need have need to have like a toefl score or ilts score and within this one like uh, at a bachelor it's not probably not possible for you to publish the scopus index journal but if you are hoping for the like a phd degree and if you are in a master then ultimately you, you really have to work hard in laboratory so as to get the scopus index publication so ultimately all whatever the documentation i have uh, mentioned uh, or described this are plays the vital role and you really have to focus on this document to further cross the like uh, challenge of the these fellowships thank you now i request to professor mahindra shirsat sir to put more light on the taiwanese top university wise admission procedures okay thank you very much dr vijay i hope vijay am audible yes sir yes sir yes okay uh, ek baat main aapko batau yahan par ki uh, taiwanese university ke khasiyat main aapko batau agar maan lo koi hamare paas uh, bsc karke agar koi student agar wahan jana chahe to even if you complete bsc here let us say bsc physics chemistry mathematics और वहां जाकर अगर कोई स्टूडेंट मटेरियल साइंस इंजीनियरिंग में अगर एमएस करना चाहता है इट इज वेरी मच पॉसिबल दिस इज वन थिंग लाइक साइंस इंजीनियरिंग वहां पर कोई सेग्रीगेशन नहीं है दे आर वेरी मच इंटीग्रेटेड लाइक साइंस का स्टूडेंट इंजीनियरिंग कर सकता है बैचलर ऑफ साइंस करने के बाद भी मास्टर ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कर सकता है मास्टर ऑफ साइंस करने के बाद पी जो है इंजीनियरिंग में कर सकता है दिस इज वन फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी इन तैवान यूनिवर्सिटीज Another flexibility is अगर मान लो आपने यहाँ पर बैचलर किया इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकॉम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग आपको वहां जाना है मटेरियल साइंस इंजीनियरिंग में दैट इज ऑल्सो फिजिबल वहां पर उन लोगों का कहना है कि भाई इफ द स्टूडेंट इज कॉम्पिटेंट इनफ वी डोंट हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम वी एक्सेप्ट स्टूडेंट ऑफ एनी बैकग्राउंड लाइक एट एटलीस्ट साइंस एंड इंजीनियरिंग अफकोर्स आर्ट्स का स्टूडेंट साइंस या इंजीनियरिंग में अलाउड नहीं होगा बट even if you complete be or bachelor in any any discipline of engineering aap wahan ja kar jo desire aapka hai material science or electronics whatever you can go any cross disciplinary entry entry is very much possible in all taiwanese universities jaise ki mere paas jaise maine kaha ki mere paas every year master of electronics karke bacche jate hain साइंस एमएससी करके वहां जाकर वो पीएचडी इन मटेरियल साइंस इंजीनियरिंग में करते हैं इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग में करते हैं बिकॉज दे आर दे डी डी देर मास्टर्स इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस बट देर दे आर डूइंग पीएचडी इन इंजीनियरिंग हमारे इंडिया में ये अभी भी बिकॉज वी हैव स्टिल वी हैव वाटर टाइट कंपार्टमेंट वी डोंट नीड टू हैव वाटर टाइट कंपार्टमेंट 
बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली वी हाव चलो मैं आपको अभी कुछ ताइवानीज टॉप यूनिवर्सिटीज के एडमिशन बताऊं जैसे कि नेशनल ताइवान यूनिवर्सिटी की वेस्ट वर्ल्ड रैंकिंग है सेवेंटी सेवन उसके सभी ब्रांचेस मटीरियल साइंस इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स कंप्यूटर साइंस फिजिक्स एंड मटीरियल साइंस भी वहां पर आपको मैं एक एडिशन बताऊँ दे हैव डिफरेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स एंड स्टील दे आर डाइंग बिकॉज दे आर दे हैव बी एस एज वेल एज एम एस बी एस आइर आप फिजिक्स में करो या बी एस आप इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंजीनियरिंग में करो या मटीरियल साइंस इंजीनियरिंग में करो you need to spend 4 years on your graduation there and 2 years for masters and and 3 uh, years for phd aur ek baat main additional batau there are plenty of options available in taiwanese university even for bachelor too good good options are available english taught program i'm not talking about uh, the taiwanese taught but like english taught program medium of instruction would be english and good options are available इन जैसे कि विजय ने बताया कि हमारे इंडिया में कभी भी स्टूडेंट ड्यूरिंग ग्रेजुएशन रिसर्च का सोच ही नहीं सकते द रीजन फॉर दैट इज वी आर हेवी लोडेड क्योंकि हमारे पास ग्रेजुएट होने के लिए चाहिए अराउंड 160 टू 180 क्रेडिट वहां पर वन विद इन वन ट्वेंटी क्रेडिट यू कैन गेट द ग्रेजुएशन डिग्री रिमेनिंग क्रेडिट दे विल अर्न थ्रू रिसर्च सो इट मीन दैट ड्यूरिंग ग्रेजुएशन ऑल्सो रिसर्च कंपोनेंट इज वेरी मच मैंडेटरी दे एंड एज ए रिजल्ट ऑफ दैट जैसे कि कामड़े साहब ने बताया हर्षदीप रेस्ट्रिक्टेड हर्षदीप कामड़े साहब ने बताया कि देर आर रिसर्च इज लाइक वेरी एक्सटेंसिव एक्टिविटी इन ताइवानीज यूनिवर्सिटी एज वेल एज यूरोपियन यूनिवर्सिटीज उसका रीजन ये है कि बच्चों को रिसर्च का टेस्ट जो है ड्यूरिंग ग्रेजुएशन में ही दिया जाता है एंड देर फोर इफ देर आर स्टूडेंट हु आर डूइंग ट्वेल्थ दिस ईयर i would request parents to think of placing your student uh, for uh, undergraduate degree in taiwanese university too aur jaise ki national taiwan university ka unfortunate last date nikal chuka hai the fall semester ka 20th february we are sorry for this interruption uh, we are trying to connect uh, and have him online again to proceed with the presentation please bear with us thank you meanwhile i would request all the interested candidates to please follow our social media links which are available on the invite please follow because uh, after this webinar you will be receiving a registration link which you can fill in yes yeah yes uh, i'm sorry i'm extremely sorry i was uh, there was some issue no problem. internet no problem sir please go ahead yeah yeah so is my screen visible ma'am is my screen visible and i am audible 
हेलो हेलो यस सर प्लीज गो अहेड ओके ओके सो रिगार्डिंग स्कॉलरशिप ऑप्शंस लाइक देयर आर थ्री डिफरेंट ऑप्शंस अवेलेबल नंबर 1 ऑप्शन इज मिनिस्टर ऑफ फॉरेन अफेयर्स ताइवान इज कॉल्ड आई मीन गवर्नमेंट ऑफ ताइवान का इसमें यह होगा कि देयर आर गुड नंबर ऑफ स्कॉलरशिप अवेलेबल जिसमें वन वे आपको ईयर फेयर भी मिलेगा ट्यूशन फी वेबर होगा एंड मंथली स्टाइपेंड देखिए थर्टी थाउजेंड एन टी डी इसका जो है ड्यूरेशन है चार साल का आप देखिए कि जैसे मैंने बताया कि ताइवान में आपको मंथली एक्सपेंसेज जो है डे टू डे एक्टिविटीज के लिए यू नीड ओनली सिक्स थाउजेंड टू टेन थाउजेंड एन टी डी अंडर दिस फेलोशिप यू आर गोइंग टू गेट थर्टी थाउजेंड एन टी डी रुपीज में ऑलमोस्ट ये अराउंड एटी थाउजेंड होगा जहां पर आपको रुपीज में वहां पर ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड एक्सपेंसिस लगेंगे सो इट मीन दैट इफ यू गेट दिस फेलोशिप you can send money back to your parent too this is one option available another option is this is again taiwan government scholarship lekin ye university ke through root hota hai jaise pehle maine aapko bataya ki masters ke liye 2 saal ke liye milta hai fellowship hota hoga uska 12000 ntd per month and uh, uh, parcel agar mila hai to 9000 ntd per month phd ke liye 3 saal ki fellowship milegi 18000 per ntd per month एंड पार्सल अगर मिलता है तो ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एन टी डी पर मंथ मतलब दिस इज सेकेंड ऑप्शन अवेलेबल एक है मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फॉरन अफेयर दूसरा जो है तैवानी गवर्नमेंट थ्रू यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड एवरी यूनिवर्सिटी आपको मैं बताऊं एवरी यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफर्स स्कॉलरशिप टू द स्टूडेंट एटलीस्ट आपको मतलब अगर जैसे मैंने बताया आपको कि आपका सी जी पी ए अगर अराउंड सेवन है एंड इफ यू आर हैविंग वन स्कोपस पेपर विद आई एस आई आर टी एस स्कोर अराउंड सिक्स टू सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव यू आर गोइंग टू गेट फुल स्कॉलरशिप अगर नहीं तो पार्सल मिलेगा आपको कम से कम ट्यूशन फी वेवर तो आपको किसी भी मतलब तैवान गवर्नमेंट ने यह इंश्योर किया है कि ऑल फॉरनर्स शुड गेट मिनिमम ट्यूशन फीस वेवर सबको कम से कम ट्यूशन फी वेवर तो सभी को मिलेगा सो इफ यू इफ यू कुड एनरो देर ऑब्वियसली यू आर गोइंग टू यू आर आई मीन यू आर गोइंग टू गेट वन और अदर स्कॉलरशिप नाउ वट यू हैव टू डू नाउ जैसे कि मैंने बताया कि फॉल सेमेस्टर बहुत पास में आ चुका है कुछ यूनिवर्सिटीज के डेडलाइन भी चले गए हैं बट नेक्स्ट ईयर का जो फॉल एंड स्प्रिंग सेमेस्टर होगा उसके लिए हमें मतलब तैयारी करनी पड़ेगी आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट आई वुड रिकमेंड स्टूडेंट टू स्टार्ट एटलीस्ट वन ईयर इन एडवांस मतलब एक साल पहले अगर आपने शुरू किया ना तो डेफिनेटली आपको मतलब यू आर गोइंग टू प्रिपेयर यूर सेल्फ वेरी नाइसली एंड यू विल बी एबल टू प्लेस इन गुड यूनिवर्सिटीज उसके लिए आपको करने क्या 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 करना पड़ेगा यू नीड यू शुड ट्राई टू अटेंड समर इंटर्नशिप प्रोग्राम ड्यूरिंग यूर अंडर ग्रेजुएशन और पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन ट्राई टू अटेंड समर इंटर्नशिप प्रोग्राम और समर इंटर्नशिप प्रोग्राम में यू नीड टू मेक इट श्योर दैट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट सम पब्लिकेशन आउट ऑफ दैट do uh, very extensive research during your summer internship program attend language classes language jaise maine bataya tha ki language competency is going to be very very important to language competency do type ki ek hogi ek to english ka hoga dusra ye hoga ki aap jaise ki if you are focusing taiwan so you need to have the chinese mandarin is actually taiwanese uh, local language If you want to go to South Korea, Korean should be your priority. If you want to go to Taiwan, uh, sorry, the Japan, Japanese should be your priority. अगर आप English competition के साथ साथ एक साल पहले अगर ये local languages वहाँ के local languages अगर आप पढ़ कर जाते हो, वो skill अगर आप earn करते हो, then you are going to have additional option for enrolling yourself in uh, non-English taught program, जहाँ पर scholarship के chances बहुत ज़्यादा होंगे. and moreover you need to earn some uh, computer skills as well that you need to make it very sure so what are the steps to be followed jaise maine bataya ki ek saal pehle shuru karna padega sabse pehle aapko jo hai english competency examinations qualify karne padenge ielts and tofel then technical skill ke bare mein aapko seriously sochna padega ki what kind of technical skills first of all you you need to see like what are the universities and which program you want to uh, enroll accordingly try to earn no technical skills get acquainted with academic environment living and food habits in uh, european and uh, taiwanese universities shortlist the university sabse important is shortlist the universities program ko shortlist kariye identify some professors and sometimes kabhi kabhi aap jis university mein aap uh, uh, pad rahe ho jis college mein pad rahe ho वहां का अगर कोलैबोरेशन अगर है तो देन दैट प्रोफेसर कुड बी अ गुड रिसोर्स फॉर यू टू गेट यू अटैच टू द प्रोफेसर ऑफ दैट टारगेटेड यूनिवर्सिटी या तो आपके कोई सीनियर स्टूडेंट अगर हो पहले से वहां पर काम कर रहे हो तो देन दैट कुड बी वन गुड यू नो कनेक्शन बिटवीन यू एंड दैट यूनिवर्सिटी दैट कुड बी स्टेप वन 
what should you do in step two? If you decide to go to individual master and doctor studies, individual masters and doctor study का मतलब ये है कि मैंने देखा कि ताइवानीज एंड जर्मन यूनिवर्सिटीज में there are many European universities there are two options available. एक ऑप्शन ये होगा कि कुछ यूनिवर्सिटीज जो है आपके ऑनलाइन एप्लीकेशन तो लेंगे ही लेंगे बट इन एडिशन टू दैट दे विल बी आस्किंग यू टू सबमिट वन रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ द प्रोफेसर रिकमेंडेशन फ्रॉम द दैट दैट टारगेटेड यूनिवर्सिटी सो व्हाट यू नीड टू डू आइडेंटिफाई प्रोफेसर कांटेक्ट हिम सी वेदर ही विल यू नो गिव यू कंसेंट अगर या तो दूसरा ऑप्शन होगा स्ट्रक्चर्ड प्रोग्राम स्ट्रक्चर्ड प्रोग्राम का मतलब ये कोऑर्डिनेटर होगा जैसे कि मान लो मेरे एक यूनिवर्सिटी में मास्टर्स के एडमिशन करना है देर वुड बी वन कोऑर्डिनेटर आपको अप्लाई करना है एंड यू नीड टू बी इन कांटेक्ट विद दोस कोऑर्डिनेटर सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन दैट अगर आप अगर स्ट्रक्चर प्रोग्राम में अप्लाई कर रहे हो या अगर इंडिविजुअल प्रोफेसर के साथ कॉन्टेक्ट करके अगर आप, आपको कंसेंट मिलता है सो देन दैट इज इंडिविजुअल यू नो गेटिंग टच विद गेटिंग इन टच विद इंडिविजुअल प्रोफेसर इज ऑलवेज गोइंग टू बी वंडर गुड आइडिया देन आप देखिए कि उसके डेडलाइंस क्या है एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया क्या है अकॉर्डिंगली यू यू टू अप्लाई थ्रू देर आर मोस्ट ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटीज आपको ऑनलाइन अप्लाई करना होगा लेकिन मैंने देखा कि कुछ साउथ कोरियन यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड जापनीज यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड ताइवानीज यूनिवर्सिटी यू नीड टू डाउनलोड द फॉर्म यू नीड टू सेंड यूर हार्ड कॉपी ऑफ यूर फॉर्म अलॉन्ग विद रेलिवेंट डॉक्यूमेंट्स इन फैक्ट टू टू द यूनिवर्सिटीज थ्रू बाई ईयर मेल so that the, the, you need to see like what are the requirement and agar maan lo aap agar select hote ho to you are going to get the confirmation later so once you get the confirmation later matlab aapko pata chal gaya ki you have been shortlisted get all your document ready transcript jaise ki dr vijay ne bataya ki transcript aapko kyunki hamare jo mark sheet hote hai distributed hote hai jaise ki maan lo main agar bachelor of engineering kar raha hu to char char saal ke 8 semester ke 8 mark sheet honge ट्रांसक्रिप्ट जो है एक या दो पेजेस पे सबके सब सभी सेमेस्टर के आपको कंसल्टेटेड डेटा मिलेगा डिग्री सर्टिफिकेट कुछ कुछ कंट्रीज का उसको अपोस्टेल करना जरूरी है यू नीड टू सी लाइक वेदर यू नीड अपोस्टेल डॉक्यूमेंट वो सभी रिक्वायरमेंट आप देख लीजिएगा एंड देन सी द वीजा रिक्वायरमेंट एंड वेन एवर यू आर है महीना पहले कम से कम आप अप्लाई करिए and uh, uh, arrange adequate currency before you enter into that country agar taiwan ja rahe ho to you need only uh, 100 usd kyunki maine jaise bataya ki wahan par day to day expenses bahut hi kam hai aapko bahut jyada paisa carry karne ki zarurat nahi padegi to begin with kyun chahiye because even if you get the scholarship wahan ja jaakar aapko wahan jaakar enrollment hoga aapko local card milega then bank account open karna padega and then it will take some time कपल ऑफ मंथ्स जाएंगे उसमें सो यू नीड सम मनी विद यू टू डू योर एक्सपेंसेस तो ताइवान में जाओगे तो आपको हार्डली मनी हंड्रेड यूएसडी के आसपास लगेगा बट आप अगर यूके या यूरोपियन किसी यूनिवर्सिटी में जाते हो तो यू नीड लिटिल बिट मोर मनी फॉर दैट एंड देन वेल इन एडवांस आप आपका एयर टिकट बुक करिए सो दैट यू विल बी स्पेंडिंग लेस मनी ऑन दैट एंड स्टे फोर होगा प्रिपेयर अ लिस्ट ऑफ रिक्वायर आइटम जैसे सब कुछ हो गया आपका एडमिशन हो गया आपका टिकट बुक हो गया एंड देन prepare the required item including your food medicine and get ready and you should get ready in well in advance whenever you will be arriving in either taiwan in european universities you need to make it sure that jo aapka deadline hoga wahan pahunchne ka kam se kam ek week pehle jaiye aap you need to keep yourself updated with the guidelines being which are which are being provided by the office of international affair of that university and accordingly like once you are there once you are there you need to get in touch with those for further guidance now as per as 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 i have in summary mein aapko batana chahu agar maan lo agar aapko taiwan jana hai so taiwan is the wonderful destination let me tell you aisa nahi ki wahan par because as i mentioned earlier repeat mein karta hu underline karta hu ki jo infrastructure maine us ke top universities mein dekha वही इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वही एनवायरनमेंट मैंने ताइवान की यूनिवर्सिटीज में देखा एडिशनल पॉइंट ये है कि एक्सपेंसेस कम है प्रोफेसर आर वेरी वेरी गुड पीपल आर वेरी गुड वेरी पीसफुल कंट्री लेकिन अगर मान लो आपको यूरोपियन यूनिवर्सिटीज में जाना है तो क्या यूरोपियन यूनिवर्सिटी में जाना टफ है इंक्लूडिंग यू के अब्सुलटली नहीं क्योंकि अगर आप रेडी हो आप अगर प्रिपेयर्ड अगर हो आपके पास रिक्वेजिट डॉक्यूमेंट अगर है रिक्वेजिट क्रेडेंशियल आपको है तो नथिंग इज आई मीन यू आर नॉट लेट इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी टफ एट ऑल सो एज फार एज एडमिशन आर कंसर्न 
किसी भी यूरोपियन यूनिवर्सिटीज में तैवानी यूरोपीय तैवानी यूनिवर्सिटीज में एडमिशन चैलेंजिंग नहीं है प्रोवाइडेड यू शुड हैव दोस एडिक्वेट स्किल्स एडिक्वेट क्रेडेंशियल्स वो अगर आपके पास है तो डेफिनेटली आप जा सकते हो इन एडिशन टू दैट स्लोवा की अगर कुछ एडिशनल मैं बताऊं अगर मान लो कोई स्टूडेंट है दे आर ऑलरेडी एनरोल फॉर एम एस एंड पी एच डी इन इंडिया अगर वो अगर मान लो ड्यूरिंग देयर पी एच डीज ड्यूरिंग देयर मास्टर्स अगर वो जाना चाहे यूरोपियन कंट्रीज में फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्लोवा किया इट्स नॉट ओनली स्लोवा किया बट देर आर मेनी अदर ऑप्शन इन मेनी अदर कंट्रीज एज वेल स्लोवा किया का एक पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम्पल देना चाहता हूं मैं कि नेशनल स्कॉलरशिप प्रोग्राम एन एस पी ऑफ स्लोवा किया ये फेलोशिप होता है बैचलर स्टूडेंट के लिए मास्टर स्टूडेंट के लिए पी एच डी स्टूडेंट के लिए पोस्ट डॉक के लिए टीचर्स के लिए भी होता है टीचर कैटेगरी सीनियर टीचर कैटेगरी में मैं जा रहा हूं दस महीने के लिए लेकिन ये इज ओपन फॉर एवरीबडी हर साल में दो ओपनिंग होती है टेंथ लाइक अप्रैल थर्टी फर्स्ट अप्रैल इज द लास्ट डेट फॉर वन वन नोटिफिकेशन एंड सेकेंड नोटिफिकेशन विल कम इन मंथ ऑफ अक्टूबर तो अगर मान लो इस साल जो एनरोल है इंडिया में स्टूडेंट मास्टर्स के लिए बैचलर के लिए पी के लिए स्लोवा किया जाना चाहते हैं अंडर एन प्रोग्राम आप देखिए आप वेबसाइट में जाइए एन एस पी स्लोवा किया लिखिए गूगल में आपको पूरा इंफॉर्मेशन मिल जाएगा एंड होप फुल एबल टू एंटर इन टू द स्लो यूरोपियन यूनिवर्सिटी डूइंग यूर यू नो स्पेंडिंग कपल ऑफ मंथ इन दोज यूनिवर्सिटीज और मैंने जैसे बताया था कि देर आर मेनी जर्मन यूनिवर्सिटीज देर आर मेनी यूनिवर्सिटीज फ्रांस they are providing you know uh, uh, i mean they are enrolling student with very very marginal marginal tuition fees many public universities very good universities you can you can look into those and grab those opportunities with this i tried my level best to give you the provide you the glimpses of the options available in many european and taiwanese universities now i am going to stop here and if you are having questions we will be very happy to address your questions thank you very much and i, I once again thanks the metta global foundation for providing us opportunity to 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 interact with large group of student and i would like to thank uh, honorable hasidip kamle sir for giving me this opportunity to have the interaction thank you very much should i stop sharing a presentation now yes sir please thank you very much sir for such detailed information thank you dr vijay kiran uh i know this is very overwhelming for all the aspirant students but do not fret aapko pareshan hone ki bilkul bhi zarurat nahi hai because that is where metta global foundation is there to help you what you just need to do is follow our social media links we will be posting the registration link soon after the webinar you just have to register for that and we will contact you and help you throughout the process with whatever is the requirement to get you through the applications i would now request uh mr alok shinde who is uh, the chairman of metta global foundation to address the aspirant students uh alok sir over to you thank you thank you uh i would like to thank uh, dr harshdeep kamre uh professor sesa and um vijay kiran sir for taking us through the entire process uh, uh harshdeep sir started with the bigger vision uh sesa sir talked about the uh, pros and cons he talked about what are the aspect that you require to uh, be a viable candidate for these universities and vijay kiran sir did gave a detailed uh, discussion the minutest of discussion as to what are the uh, ways in which to uh, comply to the uh, the european and the uh, the taiwanese uh, admission process uh, so with that we come to a broad uh, conclusion before we go to question answer session uh, i just want to make one more announcement uh, on behalf of metta global uh, foundation i would like to announce that you know we are going to sponsor one boy and one girl subject to uh, receiving a scholarship with any of the institutions either either in taiwan or in europe and uh, what we going to cover is uh, cover the living expense and non non academic expenses so that is something that i wanted to make a uh, that is a announcement i wanted to make and i am hoping that uh, it will also motivate other aspirants to kind of uh, prepare themselves 
and earn their admission in these institutions. Thank you. And we can move to question and answer session now. Thank you very much, Alok, sir. Uh, we are open for questions now. We would like the audience to post their questions. We would be happy to answer. The first question that had come in was, um, if this process, if the application is only limited to uh, science field, so I would like to answer that yes, as of now, it is only restricted to science field, but we are open to applications from other fields also. We, Meta Global Foundation, will be working on this and would be extending our help towards other streams other than science also. So please register with us. I would now like to ask everyone to be available. So there's this question. Yes. Yeah. Should I, should I respond to this question? Yes, sir, please. Yeah. So there are many uh, English, as I mentioned earlier, in Taiwan, uh, but particularly there are many English taught undergrad program, very good under, uh, programs. So there are plenty of opportunities available for under, undergrad as well in Taiwan, in many European universities as well. But, but like if you really want to uh, uh, go to the foreign countries and if you could earn local language skills, then there would be plenty of options. Thank you, sir. Next question, please. Yes, as I mentioned, as of now, only to engineering students and science students, BSc, as sir mentioned, who's done, uh, they are eligible to apply for this. Next question, please. Professor Shirsat, would you like to answer this, please? Yes, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Uh, in fact, in the, in many European as well as uh, Taiwanese universities, good number of opportunities are available in social sciences as well, like economics, political science, you know, sociology. Good number of options are available. But as it is mentioned by Sonology, this particular initiative was to uh, to to uh, to uh, assist the student in in three important uh, disciplines because we are going to have wonderful uh, employment opportunities uh, available in India. But but you apply kar sakte ho and bahut sare options available. Thank you. Next question, please. Yes, scholarship options are also available for just a minute. Arts, whether social sciences, ho, ya, ya commerce, ho, ya science, engineering, ho. options are available for each and every subject in all European and uh, Taiwanese university. Provided you should have those credentials. Just a minute, we have told you that even if you are you have be IMPS language competency. You have be CGP. When you have graduated, you have to have skills. So, if you have those skill set with you, definitely you can get scholarship from uh, those universities. It's not only science and engineering, but social science as well as commerce too. Next question, please. Uh, gap ka utna import as long as you are having good credential with you. Just like ek sal ka gap hai, wo bhot jada matter nahi karega. Just like hamare pas kya hota hai na? Ham uh, gap agar raha to ham wo student ke taraf dekhne ka hamara nazariya alag hota hai. But in foreign universities, they are least bothered about whether you had gap or not. 
प्रोवाइडेड आपके पास जो क्रेडेंशियल चाहिए उन, उनके लिए जैसे कि आपका सीजीपे अच्छा हो आपका आई का लैंग्वेज कॉम्पिटिशन का स्कोर अच्छा हो टेक्निकल स्किल आपके अच्छे हो अगर ये सब आपके पास है तो गैप इट नाउ बिल टू मैटर टू मच रीजन हमने बताया की वाई वी आर प्रोमोटिंग स्टूडेंट इन दिस थ्री डिसिप्लिन बट लाइव साइंसेस में भी बहुत स्कोप अवेलेबल है देर आर प्लेंटी ऑफ ऑप्शन अवेलेबल इन बोथ यूरोपियन एज वेल एज यूनिवर्सिटीज What about faculty for postdoctoral work in European universities? आपको मैं बताऊं कि आप chemistry के हो. Actually बताऊं कि foreign universities में subject doesn't make any difference. आपके पास knowledge क्या है important करता है. जैसे कि now I am from physics. Uh, I I went to uh, you know uh, US in department. I was doing my postdoc in US in department of chemical and environmental engineering. तो आपका सब्जेक्ट क्या मैटर नहीं करता आप आपके उनके जो थ्रस्ट एरिया है जिस यूनिवर्सिटी में आप जाना चाहते हो पोस्ट डॉक्टर पोजिशन आपको तब मिलेगी जब आपके पास उनके पास क्या रिक्वायरमेंट है वो स्किल से अगर आपके पास है तो यू आर यू आर गोइंग टू गेट पोस्ट डॉक्टर पोजिशन इन एनी यूनिवर्सिटी नॉट ओनली इन यूरोप बट अक्रॉस द ग्लोब थैंक यू वेरी मच लेकिन आप अगर एक साल का पीजी करके अगर वही पर जॉब करना चाहते हो तो यू डोट है बट इफ यू आर कमिंग बैक टू इंडिया मेक इट श्योर दैट की वो जो पैटर्न है आप एक साल का डिग्री मत सोचिए आप एक साल का डिग्री मत करिए आप अगर इंडिया में आके जॉब करना चाहते हो तो बिकॉज हमारे पास क्या होगा ना यूनिवर्सिटीज में बड़ा कंडीशनल ट्रेडिशनल अप्रोच रहेगा सो यू एज पर एज प्राइवेट सेक्टर इज कंसर्न यू कैन गेट गुड अपॉर्चुनिटीज द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कुड आई प्लीज रिक्वेस्ट द डॉक्टर प्लीज सर टू प्लीज आंसर थैंक यू आई थिंक आई विल टेक इट सो इट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज what do you tell about startup and entrepreneurship should we do it how and what is the right time okay after mtech engineering or after the job experience actually to go for a startup uh, it has to be today <laughs> and you don't have to wait there is no right time as such you have to start immediately what is startup startup is a wonderful idea which you have based on your experience and your knowledge and uh, when we say startup and entrepreneurship so when you go for a startup so that is basically when you start uh, that is when you uh, that beforehand you have an idea you are planning for a startup and then that is how you are actually already into uh, entrepreneurship we have for the startups there are so many uh, supports which uh, government gives but one support which we don't give as a government is we don't supply you ideas so it has to come from your side only and you have to be aware about uh, what is the market that is available what kind of a support that government can do is we can handle to you like we have started one very good uh, government of maharashtra has started one very good uh, initiative with uh, cornell university of usa and uh, we have set up an incubator center uh, or accelerator center for that matter so we have such kind of incubator centers already so many of them in maharashtra so many of them in indi- in india so ye accelerator incubator centers jo hai inka fayda leke aap apni idea ko wahan pe incubate kar sakte ho aur usko aage leke ja sakte ho that is how you start your uh, of course this journey but what is one very important thing that is required is you also require a mentorship if you uh, uh, if you can write us in detail of course then i will pick it up from meta global foundation and I'll uh, send you a detailed reply on this. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Next question, please. Professor Shivasar. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I mean, unfortunately, they don't offer any online program. 
on semiconductor designing as far as the taiwanese universities are concerned uh, but but let me tell you there are a few european universities they offer uh, some online programs but you need to as of now i don't have any idea about that but as far as taiwanese universities are concerned but i will not advise you to go for online because as far as semiconductor designing is concerned you need to be on field you need to see like how the you know chips are being fabricated how the materials are being uh, prepared for the different devices so don't go for online programs yes so actually i would also uh, say that uh, first hand experience is very very important for yes. this newer field of semiconductor industry yes uh, so online would uh, not help Thank Another you. Another one is, is there a scope for cyber security? Cyber security. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, there is a lot of scope. Now we have seen that IT sector has grown so much, and uh, I can give you examples from Maharashtra itself, where there are so many IT companies which have now come. Uh, many of them are multinational companies. They have also set up their data centers as well, and. Uh, Uh, you know now uh, fintech is another area which is growing at a very very fast pace where this kind of uh, cyber security data security of are of a prime importance therefore in my speech i was mentioning that anything to do with technology please go for that please go for that that is where the future lies so cyber security data security are of immense importance So the next question yes. professor yeah this has already been addressed this has already been addressed goes on yes next question please astrophysics is the question oh um, <laughs> you see like it depends on you see uh, as far as the phd in physics is concerned you need to see which specialization you want to do like for example you want to do phd in astrophysics specialization right so what you need to do is first of all identify university first of all identify country where you want to go whether you want to go to any which european universities or which taiwanese universities then identify uh, the professors and then you get contact attached with him so because identification of professor is going to play very very important role and uh, once you identify you just send them email and ask them whether they have any opportunities for phd positions thank you yeah actually i would also like to add on to that when you when we talk about the astrophysics the university of cambridge cambridge university is i would say that uh, they offer a very very good courses uh, on that and then of course we have another durham university in uh, uk is another university which uh, you can try to but cambridge of course is uh, fantastic it has a good name so maybe we can you can try for that but it's difficult there to go uh, it's difficult there because the competition is more but wherever there is a competition you have to work harder and day yes. in and day out <laughs> yes very rightly said sir the last question we are taking in is uh, any opportunity in forensic science yes because uh, opportunities are there in every aspect of science every branch of science Uh, like you the only again my suggestion would be uh, you need to identify uh, because uh, as it is mentioned by cambridge cambridge said that uh, cambridge university there are uh, people who are really doing extensive research in astrophysics uh, as far as forensic science is concerned there are many universities across the globe they are doing uh, you know research in forensic science but like you need to identify that uh, respective professor Okay, thank you very much, sir. Uh, we would now like to end the session. We are very thankful. Meta Global Foundation is very thankful to Dr. Harshdeep Kamle, sir, for giving his valuable time and uh, his guidance uh, to this webinar. Uh, Professor Shishat, sir, uh, for giving such detailed guidance. Dr. Vijay Kiran, thank you very much for uh, the information provided. Uh, Alok sir, uh, for uh, giving that sponsorship news, I think students will really apply for that. And to all the students, thank you and all interested candidates for joining. Yes, sir, please. Yeah. So, what next? What next step? Like those students who are interested, uh, how do they actually would get in touch? 
can I'm you some light on that? Yes. Yes, yes. I'm coming up to that. So the students who are interested. Uh, they have to follow our social media links of Meta Global Foundation. They've already been shared through the invite, through the WhatsApp messages. We are available on WhatsApp message. The number is already been shared. Please follow on all the social media links. We will be providing a registration link soon. You just have to, again, register with us. We will contact you with all the details and help you throughout the process to get the right university for you to get in. So please register, uh, please uh, um, contact us, and we will be very happy to help. Yes, Madam, I, yeah, the la, uh, yeah, I have one one uh, request to make. Uh, I am very happy that uh, Mr. Alok Shende is told just now that Meta Global Foundation is going to sponsor two students. Uh, I would also like to be a part of that, and I can also sponsor one girl student. Oh, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, the Professor uh, Shilpa. Like I would like to add. I would like to add the uh, important point here because, uh, as far as the deadlines are concerned, because for fall semester deadlines in both European as well as uh, Taiwanese universities are approaching very fast. Most of the universities are having deadlines in the month of March. So those who are interested, they should, they should, you know make themselves, they should expedite their process of admissions and they should contact Meta Global Foundation at their list so that uh, we will be able to help them out. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor, for that valuable information. We will put in all this information on our social media links. Please uh, go through them in detail, join and contact us. We are there to help you. Thank you so much for being present at this webinar. And I thought, thank everyone and uh, see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, so much. Thank you all of you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you.